We are at the third annual Mac and Cheese Festival held on Ontario Place. We are trying to find the best mac and cheese in North America. This festival is everything from arts to craft breweries to mac and cheese. We're gonna look at taste, creativity, and presentation. And along the way, we're gonna meet connoisseurs of every single fashion of this festival. And yes, I did just use the word connoisseurs. <laughs> This is the first stop here for the mac and cheese tour. I am with Angel from Soul to Go, and she's gonna tell us about the best meal that they have here. Today we have our chorizo taco bowl. Kind of like infuses my two favorite things: macaroni and cheese with Spanish flavors. We have, we have um, a homemade chorizo that we make in house, and we also have um, pico de gallo with uh, chipotle yogurt sauce. Uh, as well as... Is that tomato? Yes, it is. I'm not a fan of tomato. Would you be upset if I pick around the tomato? No, not at all. Very cool. I've never seen mac and cheese presented in a taco shell before. Chorizo and beef. I've never heard of a taco mac and cheese. I'm going to get everything in here. Don't eat all of it. Dude. Oh, yeah. Okay, wait. I'm slightly worried because I don't like tomatoes or onions. I'm gonna trust my girl Angel over here. I'm gonna, no, seriously, I, I can't eat this stuff. Thistletown High School Chefs with Chandra and Keith. Tell us about your best dish. But today we've got a goat cheese mac and cheese with peas. It's got sun-dried tomatoes, feta cheese, uh, sour cream and chives on it. James, you're yeah. up first. I will use a fork. Yeah. But use a fork? No. Okay, yeah. you already yeah. use a fork? No, no, no. no. Just, you just have it in there. I've never seen balls of mac and cheese before that are deep fried. They probably exist. I've just never seen them before, so this is blowing my mind right now. The thing about our booth is it's all high school students, grade 9 to 10, and we're raising money to send them to Spain. We're looking to raise $80,000 over the next two years. In my head, I go, I don't want to talk. I just want to keep eating it. I just, it's just really you good. Took yeah. Three bites. yeah. I ate that in three bites. <laughs> Sauce there, the pesto. Yeah, you should have pesto too. one of you coaching everybody to eat this while they're eating it. That's Spain worthy right there. I can tell you right now, that's Spain worthy. Going to Spain? Yes, absolutely. This is this is a stop you gotta hit on this festival. Another left-handed shake, so I don't get your hand dirty. Nice meeting you guys. See you later. Nice meeting you. Alright, so I am here with Francis and James. We're at the Black Brick. Well, we wanted like a good, cool, traditional summer drink. Uh, the Caesar's perfect for festival season. It's three mac and cheese bites. The mac and cheese bites are an onion, jalapeno, three cheese batter ball with uh, fresh summer vegetables with the eggplant and the green zucchini and button mushrooms. Do you like dunk it in the Caesar and eat it? Or, or like Some people love it? to put the mac and cheese in with the Caesar. Some people eat it separately. Like my first time eating this, would, I, would you recommend dunking it in the Caesar? A dunk? No. no. I don't want it dunked in the Caesar and I have to eat it too. <laughs> no, I'm just gonna dunk one. Eat it like a normal human being, James. <laughs> It's a full meal. You get a drink and you get a and you get a meal with it. So it's like one bite it or two bite it. You know what? Up one one bite, baby. There it is. Is then you wash that down with a nice <laughs> gold Caesar <laughs> down the hatch. There's baby. the idea. There's down the idea. Really <laughs> 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 good idea. I'm not a big fan of Caesars, but they honestly, you might have just got me onto them. This is pretty much mixing in my two favorite things, which is deep fried food and booze. Like, it doesn't get much better than that. I, mean, I don't eat vegetables, I'm not a big vegetable guy. I decided this is all about like pushing boundaries. This one's the eggplant, right? Yes, it is. Yeah. Deep fried, baby. Deep fried. <laughs> deep fried. That was pretty good. Thanks a lot, guys. No problem. I appreciate it. Not a problem. Problem. We just left uh, Black Brick, and I ate the eggplant or the zucchini, but I feel like I cheated them a little bit. Black Brick, this is for you. It tastes like nature! 
We've been trying mac and cheese, but we gotta take a break. And like we said, the mac and cheese festival has so many different factions to it. We have the mac and cheese, the art, and the most important part right here. The beer. Scott, the provider of the beer. This is Scott from Railway City Brewery. And I met him yesterday and he told me about the orange creamsicle ale. It is a orange ale that we do with zested oranges and Madagascar vanilla beans. I have never heard of a cream school ale before in my life. Cheers. Are you guys, are you guys have one going here? Cheers. Cheers. To our boy Jay over here. Right. Well, oh. <laughs> you know what you guys should do next year? You guys should have a mac and cheese to like compliment this. I thought about it. Get me in touch with your higher ups. So I'll make it happen. Oh, so yesterday, it was a beautiful day outside. If the sun's not out, you're not going to enjoy the beer. And look. Where is it? Look! <laughs> Cheers, Mr. Sun! <laughs> Thanks for making this beer taste even better than it already is. Thank you very much. Yeah. See you later. Yeah. Cheers, <laughs> <laughs> We're at the SoCo Kitchen and Bar in the Mac and Cheese Festival. This is our fourth stop. They won the Best of Festival Award two years in a row. They're looking to get the third. And we're here with Tito and Keith. And they're gonna explain what the best dish is. Yeah, we got a whiskey, barbecue, beef, mac and cheese. And if you're a vegetarian, we also do it without beef. <laughs> we slowly cook a beef in steam whistle and uh, we infuse our barbecue sauce with whiskey. Uh, five cheese Mornay sauce. We got grana padano, reggiano parmesan, Danish blue, gruyere, and white cheddar. Creativity, already like at a 10 out of 10 because there's booze in it. Tito's like, yeah, I know. <laughs> He's like, eat? I know what it tastes like. I understand why it won. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Oh, thank that, that's you. That's his, that's his, that's his, that's his. <laughs> Thank you, look at that. Customer service too, you can't beat the customer service. The beef is amazing. It's so soft and gooey. We haven't had one with the booze in the actual mac and cheese yet, so I think that's used for creativity. Also with the whiskey involved too. Easily the best tasting mac and cheese here. Everyone thinks this festival is all fun and games. You know, like, oh, let's just go eat some mac and cheese, dude, it'll be sick. What they don't understand is this is hard work. You know, we're, we're four mac and cheese places in, two drinks. I'm cramping up right now. I gotta go home. I'm in cheese overload. I think I just got attacked by a cheese curd. Man down! <laughs> All the things I would want to get attacked with in my life, cheese curd is definitely the top, like, top three. Right behind beer. unicorns, <laughs> unicorns and beer. We're here with Nero at uh, Catsy Roll Express. The thing we've been selling the most is the butter chicken mac and roll. It comes with a homemade puri bread, which is similar to a naan. And we basically put our butter ch uh, tandoori chicken, which is already marinated with uh, paprika, tandoori masala, and all the other fun stuff. What inspired you guys to make this? Well, we love Indian food. Uh, it's a lot of flavor, it's got a lot of you know, different types of spices and stuff and we just wanted to fuse that with the North American comfort food favorites. We wanted to basically take something that's very popular in North America and infuse it with something that's really popular in India. Did you just say to me? I what said I... did you just say to I me? I said I don't know if I could finish this, but then I thought, this is the year of commitment. This is the year of commitment! Commit! You're Luke Skywalker! I'm Luke Skywalker! That doesn't make sense, man. <laughs> I think James was eating it wrong, to be completely honest. Because he was eating it with a fork, and there's only two people that eat mac and cheese with forks. That's babies and old people. First of all, I like burritos. This kind of reminds me of a burrito. Never, I also, I've never had Indian food before, so I've never had this, I've never heard of a naan, so I'm actually pretty interested to try it. You will not taste anything like this at the mac and cheese festival. There's nothing else. Mac and cheese festival! If you're gonna eat this, make sure you don't have to go to any like formal events the next day or anything. You're just not gonna be able to attend. She's gonna be sitting on the shit. I can't give a perfect score, you just never know what else awaits. Bye bye, Mac and Cheese Festival. We shall see you later. Hello. Hello. First place, Mac and Cheese Festival will be the SoCo. Second place will be Thistle Town High School Chefs. The Mac and Cheese Festival is all about coming together, celebrating diversity, and bringing different cuisines and mashing them together to form one big gulf of family cuisine. Drum roll, please.
best mac and cheese at the Black Diamond Mac and Cheese Festival is No, I'm more Yo, you need more? Alright, ready? The best mac and cheese at the mac and cheese festival in Toronto is. He's drum roll, can't get drum roll, ladies. <laughs> County Rules Express! Woo! At second place, we sold to go. They got me to eat tomatoes and onions. I'm not too fond of them. Mac and cheese festival. I bid you farewell. The next festival we will be at will be at the Barbecue Meats Festival in Toronto as well. And there we will be discovering all new types of cuisines that have everything to do with barbecue. Quick seven! Yeah! Quick seven!